My party people, again, like we said, this is pretty similar to the previous question, but there's a slight difference. Everybody, true or false, in the previous two questions, we were looking for the percent of oil in the total mixture. In the first two questions of this, we were looking for the percent oil of the total mixture. Okay, now let's see if that's the same for this one. What we see here is this. What is the sugar concentration of the 60 milliliter solution? Everybody, is the 60 milliliter solution, is that the total mixture? No, it's not. This is one of the parts. Does it change the setup? Not at all. Not at all, everybody. The setup stays the same. The setup is, hey, what's, what is this talking about? A mixture of sugar. Okay, so we're going to be saying, hey, uh, sugar in solution one plus the sugar in solution two. is going to equal the sugar in mixture. Everybody, is that true? Is that still true? Is this still going to be true? Is that still going to be true? And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. Yeah, it is. I know some of us are a little apprehensive toward this, looking at this thinking, hmm, uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, it looks similar, but I still don't know what to do for the simple reason being that we changed one detail. But don't worry. What were the facts that we said applied? The facts were, hey, the amount of sugar or oil in the first one plus the second one is the total of them. That's a fact. The other fact was percent times the original will give you that result. So notice that we're still playing off of the same two facts. One, the fact that we all know is true about percents. And the other one, a fact that we needed for this question, a very obvious fact, but one that we needed to remind ourselves of in terms of this plus this equals the mixture. So now that we know that, watch, same exact details. We'll go ahead with part one. We see that it says a 60 milliliter solution is mixed with a 20 milliliter solution that is uh, to create a mixture that is 33.75% sugar. Okay, so what this is telling us is that, well, the information is not in the same order. You gotta be a little more careful. We have a 60 milliliter solution and we have a 20 milliliter solution. Let's highlight these differently. So when you read this, you have solution one, solution two, it has, and then you create a mixture and that mixture is 33.75% sugar. So my party people, this right here, this, let me go ahead and use green, oh, well, blue, green, let's use purple. This is the percent of the mixture, everybody. Does that make sense? That 33.75 is again, 33.75% times an amount. That's what we have to make sure we take into account. My party people, what is the amount? What's the total? What's the original for the mixture? For the combined mixture, what's that going to be? And how do you know? Exactly. We have to add them. We're going to add the 60 milliliters from solution one. And then we have the 20 milliliters from solution two. That's going to create a total of 80 milliliters for the solution, for the mixture, excuse me. So let's go ahead and fill in the gaps here because we have a percent that we need to multiply here and a percent that we have to multiply there. But so far, everybody, do we see where the pieces went? We are looking for the percent of the 60 for solution one, the percent of the 20 for solution two, and then we have the total percent mixture. And since we know that that's 60 and that's 20, that's 80. That is the total. So, so far, are we good, yes or no? 
what's another number now that we can plug in? What's another number that we still haven't uh, filled in? The 75%, exactly. We haven't filled in the 75%. Where does it say the 75% sugar is related to? Right, they tell you, they tell you specifically right here, everybody. This 75% sugar, that is for the 20 milliliter solution. So we need to plug that in right there. And now you see everybody, take a look. Look at the question. What is the sugar concentration or the percent for the 60 milliliter solution? The only thing that's blank is right there. Does that make sense, everybody? Does this setup make sense to you? Cool. Sounds good. So here's the idea, everybody. Whenever you're dealing with a percent mixture problem, you'll do the percent formula for the first idea plus the percent formula for the second idea is going to be the percent formula for the mixture. That's what it is. As you can tell right here, percent times original plus percent times original equals percent times original, but of the totals. So hopefully that makes it just a little easier to kind of bear, but now it's the same exact thing. Plug in your numbers, calculate, and move on with your life. Watch this. So I'll just go ahead and say X here. So we'll have you know 60 milliliters times X. Everybody, let's go ahead and do 75% of 20. What's that gonna be? Let's figure that out. You add in a little more room just in case so we'll go ahead and do 75 times 20 but that's going to be 0 0.75 so we'll go ahead and do 5 times 0 0 7 times 0 0 next line 5 times 2 that's going to be 10 7 times 2 that'll be 14 carry the one that'll be 15 add those together and that's going to be 1500 everybody how many times are we bringing that decimal place back Absolutely, two times. One, two, one, two. So we have ourselves right here, 15. So we have 60X plus 15, and then it's gonna be 33.75 times 80. Okay, sounds good. So in case you didn't know, well, I'm just gonna preach mental math, but let's just go ahead and go through it. Let's figure out what that's gonna be now. This ugly stuff right over here, yes, we still have to calculate it. And the easiest way to do it is going to be uh, 33.75 up top. So let me do that right over here. Okay, so it's not as bad as you think because we have five times zero, seven times zero, three times zero. So it's all going to be zeros for that first row. You're fine. It's the second row that you really have to be careful with. So let's go ahead. Let me just grab this and move it over. So we have five times eight. That'll be 40. Seven times eight. That'll be 56 plus the four, that'll be 60. Three times eight, that'll be 24. Carry the six, that's 30. Three times eight, 24. Carry the three, 27. So that's what I meant when I said be careful because it looked clean and it was clean. We had to carry all those digits. So with that said, boom, add these together. We have zero, 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 seven, two. How many decimals are we bringing back everybody? Yep, that'll end up being two. One, two, one, two, boom. So that ends up being 2,700. Okay. Now from here, what do we do, my party people? And excuse me there, one second. Oh, that's right. That's my fault, guys. One second. Right over here. Because this should have been... This should have been moved over. Because it should have been 0 0.3375. Totally my fault. So right over here. This would have been over here. And so that would have been 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places. So that should be 1, 2, 3, 4. And that shouldn't be 2700. That should just be... 27 that's totally on me that part's on me but let me know if we recovered from that it was just the number of decimal places we moved and brought back are we good
Great. Because now that we're here, again, all this is now, everybody, can we agree that after the setup, after the setup, it's just, it's just an equation. It's just an equation. Just like every math problem you'll ever do. You know, at first it seems confusing, but that's because the hardest part is always the setup. After the setup, you're good to go. Because from here, we're gonna go ahead and solve this equation. Let me lay it out for you, just rewriting it. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Okay, great. So what I'll do is I'll subtract 15 from both sides. Remember the key to solving equations is working backwards and doing the opposite operation. So the 15 positive and negative, they cancel out. Leaving you with 60 equals 27 minus 15, which is 12, appreciate you Draco. And then now what do we do to both sides, everybody? 60X equals 12, what do we do to both sides? Divide, exactly, divide what? Not 12, divide the 60. We'll divide the 60 on both sides. Right there, and that'll be x equals, and then you can go ahead and do your long division again. So allow me to do that right over here. And again, you shouldn't be phased by a bunch of calculations, because all this is really is just calculations. So it shouldn't be that daunting unless you really haven't had that much practice. In that case, Keep practicing. So you should welcome the opportunity to keep showing those skills. But here, nonetheless, 60 can go into one, 60 can go into 12, but 60 can go into 120. How many times? Exactly. Two times, exactly two times, the 120 disappears. So we have 0 0.20. And as a percent, when we convert it back, that would be one, two, 20%. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.